uh, hello everyone i would like to welcome you all uh, in the lecture series of renewable energy sources uh, in this video i am going to discuss the another type of question paper which is happened in the year of june july 2023 i already discussed one part of question paper uh, in the previous session and these are the so another set of question uh, like uh, you can consider it as a supplementary examination however regular regular those who are appearing for regular also you can uh, watch once and have familiar what kind of questions will be asked in the coming uh, examination you will be getting a better experience i would like to pay your attention for everybody those who are uh, preparing for the subject of renewable energy sources it is suitable for first year second year or third year students depends on the university however uh, this is a question paper which i have taken from uh, visheshwarya technological university belagavi moving on to the discussion uh, so you can see the subject code for, and uh, subject title everything you can verify and uh, this is a recent year question paper so please pay attention uh, properly first question from module 1 explain the need of renewable energy sources that's the first question uh, here you have to explain about the importance why we need to go for uh, renewable energy sources you you know that non renewable energy sources like uh, fossil fuel uh, the derivative of fossil fuel such as coal uh, then diesel petrol etc that is getting depleted uh, so there is no other uh, sources uh, for the coming future we definitely we require uh, renewable energy sources. Also, the pollution, uh, the total uh, intensity of the pollution that is getting increased day by day. To minimize the uh, uh, pollution, that, I mean carbon footprint, you should go for renewable energy sources. These are the primary reasons why we need to go for renewable energy sources. Okay. Uh, and the go green approach. So, likewise, you can explain easily, you will be getting five marks. There is no doubt. Compare renewable and non renewable energy sources. So, if we talk about renewable, uh, we can say like it's a replenishable, where non-renewable will be non-replenishable. Similarly, uh, renewable will be eco-friendly, where uh, non-renewable will be leading to pollution. Okay, so the sources are limited. If I talk about the non-renewable, sources are like uh, infinity or unlimited. We can go for renewable. So example also you can give. Definitely, you can easily get 10 marks. There is no doubt in that. Then question number C, briefly discuss solar energy sources. Okay, that also the weightage will be uh, 5 marks. Okay, you can talk about like uh, PV, then solar thermal. Okay, the solar PV means solar uh, energy will be converted into uh, electricity, where solar thermal, that is solar energy is converted into useful heat. So, different sources of uh, solar energy, you can mention it. So, easily will be getting 20 marks, there is no doubt, it's a purely general type of questions. Uh, even uh, hard preparation is not required to appear this kind of question. Don't leave this. So answer key will be looking like this. Okay, as you can see, oh, one explanation, five marks. One B, explanation and comparison, uh, two marks. Then uh, into five, that is 10 marks. One comparison, one point is two marks. Two into five is 10 marks. Brief discussion, you'll be getting five marks. What discussion? Briefly discuss the solar energy sources. Uh, then solar thermal, solar photovoltaic, etc. You can explain. Question number one. It is very clear, I guess. Question number two, let us move on to question number two. Write a short note on IOE and wind energy. Okay, so five plus five, 10 marks. Uh, explain the need sketch of wind energy, what you will write wind energy. So uh, wind energy, it's a renewable energy sources. The, you are converting uh, the wind energy into useful energy in the form of electricity, correct? You will be using a wind energy conversion system, correct? Explain with the need sketch construction and working of geothermal power plant. So you have to explain how does geothermal power plant uh, operate. So you can explain with the help of a schematic diagram and how the geothermal energy that you are going to make use of and you are how you are operating the turbine generator set, etc. That you can explain uh, figure plus explanation carries 10 marks, 5 plus 5. Okay, like that you can uh, plan. Even you can see the answer key also. Question number 2 you can refer. So see, first 2A, uh, each short note, 5 marks, 5 into 2. That means uh, IOE. 5 marks, wind energy, uh, 5 marks. Then uh, question number 2B, you have to explain about sketch, 4 marks, explanation and construction, 2 marks, explanation of working, 4 marks. So altogether, you will be getting 10 marks. This is the way how the mark is getting distributed. I request everybody to pay the attention very, very much for the answer key. You should have a good idea about how they are going to award the marks. So accordingly, you are supposed to write in the examination, correct? 10 marks means at least one and a half pages, around 600 words you can fill up. Question number 3a, solar constant, insulation, diffusion, radiation, definition, 2 plus 2 plus 2, 6 marks. Then uh, you can see 
another another variety uh, like uh, with a neat diagram discuss the construction and working of pyre heliometer so uh, pyranometer you might have seen in the last question paper the pyre heliometer is another type of devices here actually you can explain the working of sunshine recorder okay <coughs> so so how the key how about the key how they are going to give the marks question number 3 each definition 2 into 3 6 marks like uh, what is solar constant what is uh, insulation what is diffuse radiation then diagram with explanation that is 8 marks then the third one uh, with a neat sketch explain the working of sunshine recorder sketch is needed 2 marks then explanation carries 4 marks overall 6 marks easily you can get get the score 4a with a line diagram explain the working of solar pond diagram 3 marks explanation carries 5 marks total 8 marks Explain the working principle of photovoltaic cell with the neat sketch. You have to elaborate with the different layers, P layer, N layer. So it forms PN junction, substrate. You have to mention about the glass or uh, glass coating. Then you are supposed to mention about like uh, a different type of uh, material which is used for solar pan, solar solar photovoltaic cell. How you are going to generate electricity? That simple diagram you can draw. Then you can explain about the photoelectric effect. How does uh, so solar photovoltaic cell operate? A photoelectric effect you can explain in brief. Six marks. Discuss the advantage, disadvantage application of solar energy. Advantage. It's available plenty. Modularity. Okay, available anywhere. Uh, then uh, uh, it's cost, cost effective. Uh, you can go for like uh, easiness of getting return on investment. Drawback. What are the drawback? Intermittence. It depends on the weather. Okay. So cost. Cost per unit is very high. Like that, you can mention some drawback. Application, solar thermal application and solar photovoltaic application. Thermal application means you can go for solar water heater. Uh, photovoltaic application, you can go for like a, a standalone application, grid connected application. There are so many. So that is the concern regarding question number four. Question number five with the block diagram, explain the working of wind energy conversion system. Starting with the wind turbine, then converter. Then you can go for, uh, then you can go for like a, uh, AC grid or DC grid it depends on the circumstances. Okay, question number five: A block diagram carries four marks, explanation carries six marks. Draw and explain the construction working of horizontal axis windmill. There are two type of uh, windmill: one is vertical axis, other one is horizontal axis. Sketch carries two marks, explanation carries six marks. Then five uh, C compare compare horizontal axis wind turbine and vertical axis wind turbine. So each comparison so it depends on the capacity, then direction. Uh, then orientation, all the things are getting varied. Question number six, I explained the neat sketch and fixed, fixed dome bio digester. Okay, so construction you can do, you can explain slurry. Okay, uh, then how the mixing will be done. Uh, then how the methane gas will be taken outside. All the aspects you can explain. Slurry and the water that is one is to one proportion. Do remember that. Then explain the photosynthesis. You have to elaborate. Uh, the equations, the chemical equations can be written very neatly, which can, which you already studied during your uh, primary uh, or sec, like uh, seventh or eighth standard. I don't know. Uh, then question number six C with a line diagram discuss the construction and working of downdraft gasifier. Okay, there are different type of gasifiers you might have studied about. So here you are talking about you are going to explain about downdraft, updraft, downdraft. There are so many varieties available. So diagram and explanation which carries ten marks. Okay, try to add a uh, diagram like a uh, four marks discussion six marks four plus six is nothing but ten question number seven a explain the needs uh, sketch single basin tidal power plant so talk about what is tidal power plant how you are going to generate electricity from tidal power plant uh, two type of tidal plant power plants are available one is single basin double basin single basin uh, basin at a, once in a day at least you can make use of at least once in a day you have to uh, draw the diagram with a neat sketch weightage is uh, ten marks four plus six you can divide or 5 plus 5, that is also okay. Explain the wave energy and list out the advantages and limitations of wave energy. So what is wave energy? You can write it. Okay, you are making use of the like a cold, uh, concurrent waves or cold waves, which is uh, happening in the sea wave. Okay, so what you can explain is uh, how the wave energy that is going to be trapped. What are the advantages? Advantages you can mention. Drawback also you can. Drawback one drawback is actually uh, the political issues, then geographical dependencies. It's not available everywhere, only for limited places. So, likewise, you can proceed. Question number 7, A and B, key is available here. Likewise, you plan for your answer. Question number 8, A, explain with the needs, needs sketch, working of ocean thermal energy conversion power plant. Block diagram and explanation, that's all. That is more than sufficient for you. 10 marks. Discuss the details about the problem associated with the OTEC. What are the major 
uh, technology is not at a uh, not advanced that much level. It's applicable. It's not applicable to everywhere. Okay. Also, to get the thermal, uh, to make use of like uh, thermal energy in that uh, ocean thermal energy conversion scheme, that is too cumbersome task. It's not an easy task. Okay. That uh, uh, process, everything is not an easy task. Okay. Question number nine a. Uh, sketch and explain the construction working of hydrogen fuel cell. Okay, working of hydrogen fuel cell, anodic reaction. What about the cathodic reaction? What about the overall reaction? If you can draw the draw and draw the simple schematic diagram with the math, uh, chemical equation, that could be great. Okay, uh, then question number nine b. Explain the zero energy concepts. Weightage is four marks. Okay, that's also very simple only. Uh, classify the fuel cell in detail. Okay, how do you how like a, a PMC fuel cell? Hydrogen, hydrogen fuel cell. Likewise, there are so many varieties of classifications are available. That also you can list it out. Okay, brief explanation with the classification. Better draw the flowcharts. That could be better. Question number uh, 10. Uh, 10A. Explain with the need sketch electrolysis method for hydrogen production. So this topic is related to hydrogen production. What are the different methods available? Go ahead with the uh, one or two methods. Electrolysis is one of the methods actually. So what, what about the anodic reaction, cathodic reaction? Why electrolysis is required? Then discuss the different methods of hydrogen storage. Any two methods you are supposed to mention. Uh, write an advantages and disadvantages of hydrogen as a fuel. Okay, advantages and disadvantages you have to mention. 2 plus 2. Weightage is 4 marks. It is very easy only. Uh, so you can manage it. It's a dry theory. You will be getting the theory question directly. You can manage it very effectively. So if you pl plan effectively, you can score almost out of out. You can score in this subject. It's a dead easy subject. So 